Pisquid. Well, Podkopoyev representing the Ukraine now at Pisquid, Belarusia. But of course, they spent many years of their lives together training. And still the best of friends. Good to see the gymnasts still sticking together there because, after all, they're all in the same sport and the Soviet girls, or the once Soviet girls, are all still very friendly, as you mentioned. Reiso Yova prepares as the next finalist. 17-year-old from Cuba. Okay, another delay from the judges. There's a technical expert here, Haley Price, has pointed out to us throughout this competition. There is a new point scoring system now for gymnastics. It was decided that possibly one too many 9.9s and 10s were being scored in Barcelona. So the degree of difficulty is made even harder once again. So by the time we reach the 98 Olympics in Atlanta, we'll most likely be scoring those 9.9s and 10 again, Haley. That's right. Between, between now and then, they will be um, progressing up to the 10s again, perfect 10 scores. Apologies for the delay. This is live action here on Eurosport. Uninterrupted coverage throughout the whole afternoon. I think what may be the problem here is the first bolt. Whether they mark it or not, or it's giving them a problem. They have to mark it. She's touched the horse. She's touched the springboard. What do they give her? There was certainly nothing wrong with the second bolt. It's causing them problems. And this poor girl is having to wait an awful long time. She must be extremely nervous. Well, Yova of Cuba is in her first ever world-class final. And that is very difficult. Podko Poyeva, well, she seems to find the whole thing quite humorous, really. She knows that she's not going to be within a chance of a medal. She's putting on a brave face. It's good fun here. Well, definitely confusion with regards to the point score. And what we found a little interesting is that there was no score for that first vault. Possibly. Podko Poyeva starting too early. Well, there's no indication. There is the name at the top, Podko Poyeva. The confusion is, as Haley Price has quite rightly pointed out, what score to award for that first jump. It certainly brought a smile to her face. She's, she is finding the whole thing quite funny and she certainly caused the judges a problem. Well, Haley, here's a turnout. It looks like they are going to make Lilia Podkopayeva take another jump. And this could really open up the competition. Well, the youngster from the, from the Ukraine. Over the first vault whether to score that or not, and they didn't see the second vault. So this passed as her second vault. Well, you hear it from the announcer there. As Pisguin watches on carefully, the judges were debating what score to give for the first vault, and so they didn't see her second vault. 8.225, and Podkopieva, having waited at least five minutes, goes for her second vault. This is certainly going to cause a lot of uproar with other gymnasts. I'm pleased for her because she's one of my favourites, but um, that's why she was smiling. She gets a second chance. Shouldn't have happened, but good luck to her. And there we see the full twisting Yurchenko in the top position. Well, smiles and applause from the current leader, Yelena Piskun. Well, this final, the first final of two this afternoon for the ladies, the final two apparatus coming tomorrow, really full of controversy and surprise. And the third vault there for Lilia Podkopayeva. In fact, not the vault she was supposed to do, I believe. I think that should have been a full twist in the straight position. And she popped the legs, so there's going to be a big deduction. Hardly surprising there for the youngster, just 14 years of age, 
who's had to wait over six minutes. No opportunity to warm up or prepare. Well, once again, Podko Paeva finds herself waiting alongside teammate. There we have it, 8.893, 9.562 for that second round vault. Fourth position. So the one, two, and three. Pisquin leads with 9.762. Lisovic is second. Kudilkova is third. And Podko Paeva is now in fourth position. And there will be a little bit of controversy and words between coaches after this final, Haley. Yes, I believe so. Um, that's the first time anything like that has ever happened in the championships of this standard. And of course, let's not forget Rasoy Yova of Cuba, her first vault. Whoops, handspring front in the top shape with a half turn, lacking in flight, lacking in thrust off the horse, and a poor landing. We have a 0.3 deduction there. Both hands down on the mat. She's not happy with that vault. The most difficult of preparations for Yova. Handspring, half turn, and loses it on landing. A little bit underpowered, off the top of the horse there. Handspring, doesn't get the thrust from the shoulders. We await the score for that first vault. Let's hope she doesn't take her second one too soon. Otherwise, she'll find herself being returned for a third vault. But difficult preparation. Yova of Cuba, just 17 years of age, who waited for at least three or four minutes, only to be told to go and sit down and watch a third vault of Podko Paeva. But Yova scores 8.925, and if a little better score than that, we'll go into fourth position. It will certainly not affect the medal positions. One, two and three, and there's a little smile. Very nice indeed from Yelena Pizkin. Second vault for Yova of Cuba. That's the Yuchenko vault in the straight shape with a half turn. Good height and good flight on that vault. Cartwheel onto the board, showing good height. But a large step forwards on landing. Very difficult to land out of half twist. Yova, fourth in the qualification. Be lucky to hold on to that position. But good to see the Cubans coming through in these World Championships. Of course, Portundo, who was 10th in the all-around competition, she will compete in the second asymmetric bars final. 9.343, she goes into fourth position. Oksana Jusovitina. Now, Jusovitina is the reserve and the replacement for Shannon Miller. All around gold medalist choosing not to take part in this vault final. Chusovitina looking to take the lead away from the Belarusian Pizquin. 9.762 aggregate leading score. Again, we see the handspring front with a half turn in the pike shape. Nine point nine tariff. Lacking a little bit in flight. And a one tenth deduction for that landing. A lot of the girls choosing to do this vault, which is now quite a high tariff. 